Well, National is very focused on putting together a policy manifesto to take into the election campaign next year. It's clear to us that many New Zealanders feel the country is going in the wrong direction and what they want to see is a plan to get things back on track. And our plan will be focused on getting the basics right, ensuring we're getting a lot more value out of government spending, that we're helping Kiwis get ahead with some sensible tax reduction, that we're investing in New Zealand's long-term challenges, be that infrastructure, climate change, or ensuring that those uh, from homes with the least opportunity have the opportunity to advance. So it was great to have that discussion today. I thought it was excellent, you know, the chance obviously to hear from Nicola and Grant about their views following the feedback from all the CEOs and boardroom. I thought it was excellent. Themes were consistent. I think obviously everyone's nervous about where the economy is at the moment, some of the macro challenges and what's happening in, in Europe, but also what's around the corner. And there is a lot to look forward to but it's not without its challenges. Well, it's pretty consistent with what we've been hearing from businesses for some time, you know, particularly the challenges around accessing skills uh, and the challenges uh, uh, as well with the immigration system. Um, I guess one of the challenges and opportunities for the government is to, is to clear that up. Uh, we're in a global uh, war for talent, um, and in order to grow, we're going to have to access some of that talent. And I think the government needs to be more open in the way that uh, it acknowledges that and changes the settings to enable it. Business can only feel optimistic if they have a government that's putting the right foundations in place. And frankly that's missing right now. Uh, the government is missing the ball. Uh, it's made big promises on which it's not delivering. Uh, it's adding a lot of cost, it's adding a lot of uncertainty. It hasn't responded to crucial issues like worker shortages. Uh, and my view is that the business will be confident again when it sees a government that's in control, that's getting the basics right and that can provide some certainty in the operating environment. Look, there is a wee bit of doom and gloom and we're very, very acutely aware that people are doing it hard right now. There's affordability, interest rate you know, increases don't just affect the mortgage, they affect other things in families and so affordability is an issue all of us are acutely aware of. But as both uh, Nicola and Grant said, around the corner there is confidence, you know, tourism opening up. Hopefully we're going to welcome some new people into New Zealand to fill some of those roles. Well look, I think they both responded pretty constructively. Obviously it was a bit of a better survey for Nicola than, than perhaps Grant, but I mean Grant is the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Finance and he's got pretty broad shoulders. I, I think his responses were that the government are open to looking at some of these issues, uh, that they are committed to some of the more difficult uh, national conversations, which is important, um, but also that uh, you know, I also thought uh, Nicola did a great job in sort of outlining what National's alternative vision, uh, particularly from a finance and economy perspective is. We have provided some detailed policies. If you look at our welfare that works policy to get long-term young unemployed people into work through a program of incentives uh, and requirements. If you look at our plan to crack down on the gangs using new tools for the police. If you look at our detailed plan for personal income tax reduction. We have set out policies. We also acknowledge there's much more policy that we will be announcing. And you will see from us progressive uh, rollout of policies over the next few months, particularly as we go into election year. Uh, we intend to have detailed plans for the areas that matter. Look, there's probably three challenges for us. You know, I'm in the business of insurance, it's climate change, it is worrying. We are seeing the severity and frequency of events increasing and we do need to work together to mitigate some of those things. Also, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm as part of a business that operates in New Zealand and the Pacific and the Pacific are also doing it hard, so I'd love to see the Pacific and opportunities to develop businesses uh, and markets there actually become more prominent. And of course the third one is around affordability. How do we help people get through the next period of time whilst some of those longer term trends of tourism and new business opportunities like digital and technology come to fruition? How do we help them in the short term, which is going to be challenging? Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.